Hello and welcome back to your Friday Scarlet Scoop. I'm Jenna Linusars here to bring you the latest news on everything Ohio State. Let's get right into today's top stories. And I also think the story too, my cousin Al told me about being locked in the potato cellar after not doing his chores definitely always hit a note with me just thinking of a, a child being locked in a dark basically like a hole in the ground um, because he didn't do his chores or he tried to help his brother do his chores. What you just heard is a story of a survivor of the Native American boarding schools. Today is Orange Shirt Day which remembers the Native children who were forced into institution like schooling in the United States and Canada. The day's namesake comes from a woman who says her new orange shirt was taken away the second she walked into the school. In the system there was a lot of abuse and it is estimated that thousands of children died. Many painful memories have caused many Native survivors to not share their stories. Melissa Beard Jacob, here in our OSU community, has put together a timeline of her family and its attendance at the boarding schools. She says it's important to learn about the history, despite how damaging the past may be. I'm, I'm lucky that I have these documents and some of this documentation to kind of backtrack and see these stories. Um, but I think it really enforces pride. You know, I think you look at this and you think, gosh, this is such a horrible part of history, but the resilience piece comes out. So in seeing that my grandmother went through this, but yet she went on to have, you know, a family of four children and um, you know had a very happy marriage. I just think we're really lucky to, to be able to know this information even though it's it's a, a sad part of our history but it really informs um, how our family came to be. The Ohio State women's volleyball team played in their first home match on Wednesday. When you ask the team what they love most about playing at home, it's not the convenience or the home court advantage. It's the little girls who come out to watch and cheer them on. Every game, the stands are lined with young volleyball players anxious to one day become the women they've come to watch. The bond and appreciation for the other is just as strong from either perspective. Take a listen. I like number 10. Number 10? Yeah. Why is that? She's really tall and pretty, and she's good. Oh my god, it's amazing. This is kind of a feeling that it's really hard to find in anything else, so being able to be a part of this and just we were them one time and you know just being able to see them and having their support and how much they look up to us obviously so amazing and I mean it's something I really can't express and explain but it's so great to see them here and how excited they are about the game. It's uh, it's really it's really cool because it's like um, playing volleyball is like one of my favorite sports. So it's like it's really cool that like to have like the good volleyball players and stuff to say that uh, it's, that they like to play and stuff and that they're doing it for us and stuff because it's really it's just real it's just really nice. This week, Ohio State released the results of its second campus climate survey, which measures students' experience and perception of sexual assault and relationship violence here at OSU. The results revealed that almost 30% of OSU women have experienced some sort of unwanted sexual threat since their enrollment. Since the last year the survey was sent out, Ohio State jump-started Buckeyes Act, which is the campus's combined effort to combat these crimes. New this year, first-year students had to participate in online sexual violence training. Ohio State will use the information collected from this year's survey for further research into how to eliminate sexual assault on campus and how to raise awareness about resources. Well, that wraps up another week of Scarlet Scoop. Make sure to watch us again starting on Tuesday. Keep up with us on social media by liking our page on Facebook and following our handles below. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend, Buckeyes.